Today we are making thin crust pizza, the best, the tastiest, and the healthiest thin crust pizza on YouTube, hands down. Set the cameras up and put this on ABC. I would debate anybody over that statement. This recipe is easy and you're not just gonna get one pizza out of this. We're gonna get two. We're gonna do a traditional pepperoni and a buffalo chicken pizza. By the end of this video, all your friends are gonna think you're a master chef. Your girlfriend may wanna keep you around just a little bit longer. She loves pizza. Not you, but she loves the pizza. What what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have, this might be one of the best recipes I've ever done on here, hands down. You love pizza, right? I love pizza. He loves pizza. There's actually no one over there. We all love pizza. If you don't love pizza, then you probably don't like dogs and you've never seen Game of Thrones or Breaking Bad. Besides the point, my love for pizza has gotten me in trouble so many times. Let's take last Saturday, for example. I ate three quarters of a large stuffed crust pizza to myself and it did no good for my physique, none. So how do we enjoy pizza, what we love about it, but how how do we make it fit our diets? How can we eat pizza and still lose weight, stay on track, and eat pizza? Scientists, academic scholars have been researching this for years to no avail. But luckily, your boy did some research, found a recipe that I know you guys are gonna love, and I don't even need to talk about it, I'm just gonna hop right into it and show you. So if you guys are ready to get this epic recipe video underway, then as always, I'm here to cook for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Step one on making a pizza fit your macros. Step one is choosing the right crust. That's where all the carbs are coming from. That's where a lot of the sugar's coming from. So what we're gonna do to solve that problem is, drum roll please. Da -da 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 Boom. We are gonna be using Joseph's lavish bread. Guys, and you know, I just discovered this stuff here and I can't believe my eyes. In one big flatbread, there's only 16 grams of carbs and they're thin enough to when we bake them, it's gonna give it a really cracker-like crust and it's gonna be perfect thin crust pizza. And if you don't want to make a big boy, then you can always do their little pita version to make a little personal pizza. But for the sake of this, we're making a big boy. Step one, get yourself a baking sheet. And I always like to cover mine with foil. Doing it this way makes cleanup a breeze. I'm gonna hit my foil with a little bit of non-stick olive oil cooking spray. Not too much, but just enough to where it gets the underside of our flatbread. It's gonna help it be crispy and not stick. Now we're gonna pull out one of our flatbreads and lay it down on here. There we go. And you see how big that is? So we're getting a lot of surface area with this thing, but it's like paper thin. Oh, it's gonna be so good. And then we are gonna hit the top with another layer of extra virgin olive oil spray. Hope it crisp up. Keep the sprays under a quarter seconds and it's zero calories. You like that? Boom. As far as sauce is concerned, I'm gonna be using Classico four cheese blend. Sounded good and the macros were good. Nothing wrong with extra cheese, right? We'll be weighing out 125 grams and spreading it across our flatbread. So we're gonna slowly add it on here with a spoon and spread it out. Don't really want it too thick anywhere because it'll make this flatbread soggy. As you're spreading it out, you do not wanna go edge to edge. You wanna leave a little bit at the end so you can have some crust. We all like crust, right? If you're the type of person that eats the pizza and leaves the crust and doesn't eat it, shame on you. I'd like to meet your parents and give them a stern talking to. Or you eat the center out of an Oreo and not the cookie. Come on, I know people like that. Or you order buffalo wings at a restaurant and they only eat the drummies and leave all the flappers. You got anybody like that in your life, just cut them out. They don't serve you, leave them. Ain't making you better, I promise you that. And once you got your sauce evenly spread over this, it's time to add some cheese. But today we're switching it up. Not really, but we are. Boom, fat-free mozzarella once again. Huge fan of this, I always say it, but you save calories, you get the same cheesy taste and texture. Perfect way to add protein, but you might notice the brand. I was using Kraft before because I didn't realize Walmart had their own brand. Kraft is like $5 a cheese bag. I was slowly going broke eating fat-free mozzarella. I had to get a second mortgage on my home just to keep eating cheese. But with this, $1.70 a pack. I bought four of them. All right, video's getting a little cheesy. Let's get to adding. So with a food scale, I weighed out my 84 grams of cheese. I'm just gonna get on here and spread it out, baby. Look, 84 grams is the perfect amount of cheese for this guy. Sprinkle, sprinkle. When you guys see the macros on this thing, gonna ruin your Tuesday or Wednesday. That's the day this comes out. Make sure we get it even here. Fill in any gaps we got. Spread it around a little. A little bit right here. A little bit right here. Boom, boom, and boom. This looks good to me. If you want, add more cheese. Do whatever you want, man. Take these recipes I'm showing you and put your own little twists on them. Do you, man. Do you. Cheese is spread and looking good. Now this pizza is going to be a classic. It's going to be a straight pepperoni. But, you know, we're putting a healthy twist on everything. So instead of regular pepperoni, we'll be using turkey pepperoni. 
pepperonis. I know I've had these at some point. I can't remember how good they are, but to be honest, probably won't be able to tell too much of a difference, I don't think. But I'ma let you know when we try it. Weighed out 30 grams of pepperonis and we're slowly gonna start placing them on our pizza. Boom. You just can't beat a good classic pepperoni pizza. What is your favorite type of pizza? Comment below and I might try to make it on the channel and do a healthier version. Is this too many pepperonis? I mean, I'm cool with it, but I'm also a meat man. The more meat, the better in my opinion. Oh, this is going to be so good. And boom, we're going to call that a winner. The pizza is put together completely. The best part about it, you don't got to wait no 20 minutes, 30 minutes. to wait for it to cook in the oven. This thing cooks in five minutes. Preach your oven to 450 degrees and slap her in. Boom, set a timer. Guys, we're going to be eating this in no time. I'll check back in. And after just five minutes, our pizza is done. If you could see this crust right here, it's just so crispy. Ugh. Okay, let's cut it. The cut test. Oh, do you hear that? Ooh. So glad we left this end exposed because it gives it that like cracker like crust. I love it. Go down the mid. Oh. Baby, hearing that snap crackle? Ooh, listen for it, listen. Oh, that's heaven. Oh, how thin is this? How's that looking? We gotta try this. Ah, and without further ado, shot on my B-roll. I think we're in a good spot. Let's give this thing a try, man. What are you guys thinking? Easy recipe, right? Okay, we're gonna do this piece because it's covered in cheese. We got pepperoni, got some crust action. I think it's gonna be our best one. You guys ready? Wow. Mm. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Right, I'm gonna do one more. Just give you guys an accurate reading. We're all about accuracy on this channel. Huh. Mm. Hate to say it, but I think I stumbled upon a game changer. Mm. A crunch, for real. For what this is, how easy it is to make. Five minutes in the oven. Decorate it yourself. Five ingredients. Was that deep or was that four? Crust, sauce, cheese, pepper, four ingredients. This is incredible. Especially once I tell you the macros, you're gonna be like, no, he didn't. No. Mm. The crunch. Look at how that turned out. It's like a cracker on the end. Mm -hmm. Wow. A plus, guys. A plus. I think it'd be even better if I didn't have to film all this stuff and I could have just eat it like super fresh. Woo. I am so happy I found this. This is insane. In this entire pizza, all right? So the entire pizza, if you made this and you sat down and you ate this thing by yourself, it would only be 370 calories. That's insane. That's like one slice of pizza if you order pizza like anywhere. That's like one slice. Eight grams of fat, 50 grams of protein, and only 29 grams of carbs. In this entire thing, that's sauce, that's meat, that's cheese, that's flatbread. Hey, that's everything. I never thought I'd see the day where there'd be such a thing as guilt-free pizza, but boys, we got it. Wow, I'm so happy with this. I'm so happy. Mm. On my current diet, I could eat five of these pizzas. I could eat one of these pizzas at every meal. Still hit my macros. That's wild. These flatbreads, by the way, would be the only thing I would say you might have trouble finding. Walmart by me carries them, but if not, I'll put an Amazon link down below. You can buy like 12 of these for like 12 bucks, like a dollar a flatbread. But man, everybody will love this. I promise. If you're not as strict as me, man, throw more cheese on there. Throw more meat on there. Do switch, switch it up. You know what I mean? But this game changer for as fast, easy, it's a game changer. If you like the video so far. Are subscribe if you're not subscribed and smash that thumbs up button helps me out more than you know and uh, I'm gonna finish this and we're gonna move on to the next pizza you guys ready I was born ready if you were thinking the pepperoni pizza was amateur hour wait till you see this buffalo chicken pizza we are gonna be using the same tray same foil for this pizza because we're environmentally friendly here at RJF don't you forget it quick little cooking spray boom go ahead and lay out another flatbread give it a little dusting as well Boom. Buffalo chicken pizza sauce is gonna be a little different. We'll be using fat-free blue cheese from Wishbone. Pretty good macro is gonna give us that blue cheese without none of the fat. I'll be using red hot buffalo wing sauce. Give us that buffalo flavor, zero calories, and then a little bit of sriracha because everything's better if it's a little spicy. First, we add two tablespoons of our blue cheese dressing. Perfect. And then add as much buffalo sauce as your heart desires. Well, not too much, but you know, you want enough in there. It is buffalo chicken pizza. Boom, boom, boom. That's a Rest of the bottle for us, boys. And then just a little bit of sriracha. Perfect. Then you just go in and mix it all up. Get it to the same consistency all the way through. Oh, you should smell this, guys. Smells like a buffalo chicken pizza. And voila. Now we take our homemade sauce and spread it on the flatbread. Same principles apply as the marinara sauce. Oh, this ah, smells so good already. Been a while since I've had a good buffalo chicken pizza, so I'm hoping this one stacks up, because that pepperoni was killer. And then once our sauce is on there, 
there. We're gonna do 84 grams of fat-free mozzarella once again. I ended up tasting that sauce, and let me tell you, this is gonna be an epic beast. Boom, 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 and boom. That's our cheese. So we need some chicken for the top of this. I'm not gonna use canned chicken, nothing like that. We are going to just cook our own real fast. Super easy. I got two chicken breast tenderloins here. We are just going to cut off the little gross parts. Don't want gristle in your pizza. That one looks pretty good. Get rid of that wool guy. Get out of here, fella. And once you got them in a good spot, we are going to slice them into tiny little pieces. Bite-sized pizza pieces. We're gonna need about 168 grams or six ounces. Got a food scale to the left of me. I'm just gonna pop it in here to see how close we are. That was 70 grams. Boom. That is 144. Grab another one from the reserves. Get rid of you. I don't even know what that thing is. It's freaking me out. Boom, boom, boom. All right, where are we at? A couple more and we should be straight. It's gonna be a lot of chicken on this pizza. And that is perfect. We're gonna take our chicken over to a pan that's already been preheating. Hit it with some spray. Toss it in. Now that our chicken is cooked all the way through, we are gonna start placing it on our pizza. I'm gonna kind of push it down in a little bit to kind of give it a root in there, a root in there. I'm so excited for this. The real question is what's gonna be better, this or the pepperoni? Time will tell. Mm-hmm. And boom, ain't that beautiful? Exact same deal as last time, guys. We need five minutes in the oven at 450 degrees, and we're gonna be feasting. Boom, boom, boom. C in five. This thing is a work of art. Once again, just five minutes in there and this crust is rock solid cracker-like. And I don't know what happened to the sauce, but it like thickened up and uh, whoo. All right, let's get to cutting. Crunch, oh baby. Down the side, boom. Pick one of you up. Oh, look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, you know we gotta give this a try. It's showtime. All right, moment of truth. We are gonna see how this pits up against the pepperoni. They are two radically different pizzas, but you still say one's better than the other, right? Go ahead and start with this piece right here. The showcase piece. Boom. Okay, you guys ready? Two, one. That is so good. This is buffalo chicken pizza, 100%. Mm. A little messier than the pep, but so worth it. Do a corner piece here. This is a pizza where you like to get the corner piece because you got like double the crunchy. See, listen. Wow. Mm. I'm so happy with this. I'm so thrilled that this is so easy and turns out this good. Too good, too good. It's really spicy, I need a drink. Woo. Convenient, you may be like Rem. How can this be healthy if we're not eating vegetables? And I got an answer for you. Feel free to throw whatever green you want on this thing, customize it to your liking. But you want it just like this. You wanna make sure you're not missing those nutritional gaps. Fill them in with Final Boss Performance Greens, man. Get a Gatorade Zero, take a scoop of greens, put it in there, scoop of branched amino acids in there, you shake it up, and you're left with a really good tasting drink. It doesn't feel like you're dieting at all. Ah, no, for real, I, I drink this every day, it's so good. Available on FinalBossPerformance.com, code RGF10, saves you 10%, or Amazon.com, but free prime shipping. All right, one more piece and I'll break these numbers down. Mm, mm, that blue cheese dressing. I'd never had fat-free blue cheese before. And like most things I'm finding, you can't really tell the difference after you cook it. I had stains in my mouth in the last video. We're gonna make sure that doesn't happen again. Y'all always let me know in the comments. Okay, I think we're good. In this entire pizza right here, there is 465 calories. The biggest difference between this pizza and the last pizza though is the protein content. So in this whole pizza, there is only 3.8 grams of fat. Less than four grams of fat in a pizza. That's wild. 34.5 grams of carbs, still very low carb for an entire pizza, that's crazy. And then there is 78.2 grams of protein in this thing, because we had the six ounces of chicken, the fat-free cheese, and the blue cheese all had quite a bit of protein. So this is a heck of a meal, man. I didn't realize this was possible until right now, and we're living in it. Man, who'd have thought making homemade thin crust pizza was this easy? Because I think this only had, what, six ingredients? Who's, who's counting? It takes like 10 minutes to put together. Five minutes cook time, five minutes throw a thing together. Crazy. We are really living in the future. Mm, this is so good. I'm gonna finish this and clean up real quick, I'll be right back. Ooh, I chugged that entire Gatorade and my mouth is still hot. He never learns. So today, what did we learn? We learned that you can make good, healthy, low carb, diet, macro friendly pizza at home and not sacrifice on flavor or your time. You don't even gotta give up your time. Five minutes in the oven, five minutes to put together. And I'm not saying I should deserve an award for this video, but I mean a thumbs up would help. 
something, some acknowledgement. I'm doing the Lord's work. <laughs> so out of uh, both the pizzas, I can't say which one I liked better, to be completely honest. I think they're two different types of pizzas for two different types of moods. Sometimes I just want a pepperoni and cheese pizza. That's it. And other times I feel a little more exotic. And those flatbreads are the real winner here. So I'll put a link for that down below in the description box. That way you know where they're at if you can't find them at your store because they're super cheap, super good. You could probably do a million things with them. So be on the lookout for more recipes. Appreciate you guys. As always, man, you guys rock. My channel is killing it lately. Everything's going really good and I have you guys to thank for that, man. You guys and this beautiful Houston sun. With that, I am out of here. Thank you all for watching and I will see each and every one of you at the next video. Peace. Later.